just your first impression. What do you see in your mind's eye? Still traveling. Mm -hmm. So as you're traveling, tell me where you, what you see on your travel. What is the space in which you travel? Does it have a color? Is it a place? It feels like the universe and, and I am in my bubble. Very good. So as you travel through the universe, let's focus on what you see along the way. Look around you and tell me what's out there in the universe. The Pleiades. The Pleiades. Very good. Describe them for me. What do they look like to you in this place? They are still far away. Mm -hmm. I can see the light. What light? What colors are these lights? Green and blue. Mm, beautiful. Now you know that through time and space, all you have to do is set an intention and you are there. It takes no time at all. So as you set your intention to this beautiful star system, I'd like for you to be there now. Do you experience? What's the first impression that you get? The only thing I can see is like a a temple mm -hmm. or something. That's perfect. Very good. So as you see this temple... A white, mm -hmm. shiny, a little bit like the Russian churches, mm -hmm. like the onion uh, headed roofs. Mm -hmm. Do they have any color? It's white, shiny. Mm -hmm. What's around these, this temple? A garden. Mm -hmm. Describe what's in this garden. What do you see? A spring well. Mm -hmm. and bushes and flowers. Mm -hmm. What color are these flowers that you see? Violet comes to my mind. Violet, very good. Can you smell them? No. Mm -hmm. What else do you see in this garden? Is there a place to sit? Yes. A bench. Mm -hmm. So let's go to that bench now. And have a seat on that bench. And just look around you. Let's find out if there are any people there, anybody there who will meet you in this garden. The well is there in front of the bench mm -hmm. and I have the idea to look in the water. Very good. So let's look in the water and see what you see. What 
what's in the water? It's like a mirror. Mm -hmm. you, you can see into different worlds, maybe. So let's look into that mirror and let's find the world in which this soul was affected the most. Allow yourself to just look within and allow the well to take you there. What happens next? It looks like a forest. Mm -hmm. Looks like a forest. So I'd like for you, you to <clears throat> com completely immerse yourself in that forest. Allow yourself to be in that forest. and look around. On my left side, it's pretty dark. Mm -hmm. And on straight ahead or on the right, it's more bright. There's some, some light comes through the trees. Is this forest a dense forest? Are there many trees? Yeah, the left side feels like a really black mm -hmm. forest, really mm -hmm. dark. Mm -hmm. Not nice, I don't want to go there. What do you feel when you look at that? It's not welcoming. Mm -hmm. And as you look around you, do you feel that you have a physical body there? Look down and see if this observer has a physical body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at your feet. What do your feet look like? Bare feet. Mm -hmm. Are these feet male or female feet? Female. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'm not so old. Under 20. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the rest of your body and tell me what it looks like. Black hair comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. I can't see it, but pops up in my mind. Mm -hmm. You just know it. What else do you feel? Mm. Let's see how it is that you're dressed. Something simple. Mm -hmm. linen maybe mm -hmm. or something from nature and how is the temperature in this place is it cool is it warm how does it feel that's okay it's okay it's very good mm -hmm. look at your hands and see if there's anything in your hands Are you carrying anything? No. No. So let's find out a little bit about yourself. I'm going to ask you to now go to the place where you live. Close this scene and stand before the place where you live in that lifetime. And tell me where you are. It's a little hut on mm. the forest, on the side, on, on the 
itch. Mm-hmm. How do you get inside of this hut? This has a little door. Mm-hmm. So allow yourself to go inside and tell me what you see. There's a table, the cupboard, and a bed. Um, How many beds? Mm -hmm. Take a look and see. Do you live in this hut by yourself, or there are others that sleep there with you? You will know the way it feels. I'm alone in the moment, but... Mm -hmm. I think there are two beds somewhere. Mm -hmm. I can see only one in the moment. I guess the other one is upstairs. All right. There's a little cabin just to sleep. So let's find out what is upstairs. How do you get to this upstairs? Some steps. Mm -hmm. Small. Small. Ten steps, maybe. Mm -hmm. Light ladder. Let's go up and see what's upstairs. A triangle roof and a mattress and a little window. Very good. So let's close that scene and now open the scene up where you are having a meal inside that hut. Be there now. A wooden bowl and the soup mm -hmm. and a wooden spoon. Take a look at what's inside of that soup. What do you see? Some small cutted vegetables. Mm -hmm. And maybe rabbit comes to my mm -hmm. mind. Rabbit meat. Very good. Look around the table and see if there's anybody eating with you. My sister. Mm -hmm. Is your sister younger or older? I guess we are twins comes mm -hmm. up. How old are you there? Seventeen. Mm -hmm. Who else is in the house with you? Do you live with anyone else? Our mom. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? No. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to take a look into the eyes of your sister and see if you recognize those eyes in the lifetime of Katrina. Do you recognize this soul? can't see the eyes. Mm -hmm. What about your mom? She is not there. All right. I'd like for you now to connect with your feelings. How does this family feel to you? Connect with your emotions. Mm, loving. Loving. Very good. So let's close that scene now and let's move to a time when you are doing what you usually do during the day, allow yourself to be there now. How do you spend time? I'm outside and picking herbs, mm -hmm. and mushrooms and berries. <coughs> are you by yourself? 
Or is anyone with you? I have a little dog. Mm-hmm. Take a look at this dog and see if you recognize this dog. No. No. Very good. So as you're picking these herbs and mushrooms and berries, what do you plan to do with them? For food and tea and medicine. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, if I find some nice wood pieces, I carry them home too. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I want you to connect with your feelings and tell me how you feel in this lifetime. What emotions do you feel? Mm, I'm pretty happy in the, in the nature. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's close that scene and let's go to a very important day in that lifetime when something very important happened. Be there now. Where are you? Look around you. Mm, can't get anything. Mm -hmm. So if you can't get anything, let's close that scene and go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Go to the last day of your life. Be there now. And tell me where you are. I'm in bed. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Pretty old. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone with you? Take a look and see. My niece. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does she say anything to you? She brings me some tea. Mm -hmm. Do you have any children of your own? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So as you feel your body in this place, what do you imagine is happening to your body? I'm just old. Just old. Very good. So I'd like for you to take your last breath now in that lifetime and detach your soul from that body, allowing you to begin to drift and float away from that body. Drifting and floating thinking about your life, and as you do. I'd like for you to tell me, what was the purpose of that lifetime? Just to help the people and pick in herbs and make medicine. Did you learn anything from that lifetime? Yeah, to be in tune with nature. Mm -hmm. And as you continue on your journey, I'd like for you to tell me how your lifetime is affecting the lifetime of Katrina. Hmm. to remind that everything is there from nature and we just have to use it and be thankful for the herbs and stuff that we get. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. So I'd like for you to continue on your journey and let's see where you go to next. As we begin to drift through time and space, I'm going to count from five back to one. 
when I get to number one, we will be at another important place that is affecting the lifetime of Katrina. Taking a deep breath in on five, going back through time and space to another time and another place. Four, allow yourself to go deeper and deeper. Three, two, and one. Be there now. What is this place? I'm back on the well, mm -hmm. looking in the water. Very good. What do you see now? Just my face. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Keep looking deep into that face. What is it that she needs to know about this face? What is it telling her? What does she see as a reflection back? I see a blonde young woman, mm -hmm. but I think this well is more like you can see everything you want in there. Mm -hmm. So let's go to that place and that well, that lifetime that is affecting the lifetime of Katrina. I'd like the well to show her that lifetime. What does she need to see? Castle. Mm -hmm. I see a castle in this well. Very good. Allow yourself to go to that castle now. Describe it for me. What's there? The more you describe, the more you'll see. Mm, it's an old castle mm -hmm. with many little towers. And what else do you see? People running around. Maybe there's an, an event. Mm -hmm. Looks like they are pretty busy and... Take a look at the observer. Where are you seeing this from? Are you in the castle? Or far away? Before I was a little far away and mm -hmm. now I'm in the court. Very good. Look around you. And you will recognize who you are in that castle. What is your position in that castle? What is your role? Hmm. Look 
look at your body. What do you look like? I'm nicely dressed. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not poor there in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. sure. I have blonde hair. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's uh, nicely up, mm -hmm. like curls. And look at the way you're dressed. How are you dressed? Mm, in silk and nice clothes, mm -hmm. nice dress. What color is this dress? Green. Beautiful. With golden and... Yeah, and I have curly hair. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about your role in this castle. What do you have to do with this castle? My father's. Mm -hmm. My father's. Is your father there that you can see him? He must be there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Let's find out about this event that's going on and why you are there. What's a special event? I think it's my marriage. Mm. Let's move ahead a little bit more in this time and space. And close the scene and open it up at the marriage. Be there now. I'm dressed in white. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Are you inside or outside? Like a chapel, mm -hmm. church, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Who is there with you in this chapel? All important guests mm -hmm. that I invited for the marriage. And there's the ceremony. Take a look at the one that you are marrying. He has black hair. Mm -hmm. and green eyes. Do you know this man? Take a look at his eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. No. No. I'd like for you to connect your emotions to this man. How do you feel about him? I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything else? that's important on this day. No. Very good. So close the scene. And now let's advance the scene to see where it is that you live with your husband. Be there now. We left the castle mm -hmm. and we have a nice house and the nature mm -hmm. and, and the land side. Connect with your emotions. How do you feel? I love my garden. Mm -hmm. What do you do in your garden? 
there are roses and flowers and water is that where you spend most of your time in your garden yeah mm -hmm. and in the house but i love my garden very good so let's find out more about your life as your family i'd like for you now to close this scene and advance it now to when you are eating a meal with your family be there now. Take a look around the room. There's a big table mm -hmm. and my husband is there. And I just know I have two sons. Mm -hmm. These sons, are they young or are they old? How do they feel to you? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. And thirteen. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to connect with your emotions and see how your life is now. I'm still happy. I'm still happy. Very good. So now let's go to another significant event in your lifetime, something that impacted your life. Close the scene and be in this new place. What happens? Where are you? In my garden on a bench. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? I'm alone. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? I think my husband died. Mm -hmm. And the boys are grown up. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Sixty something. Mm -hmm. Connect with your emotions and tell me how you are feeling in that garden now. I still love it. Mm -hmm. Do you do your own gardening? Yeah, mm -hmm. I take care of my roses. Mm -hmm. So now let's close that scene and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Be there now. And let's see where it is that you are. What is this place? Can't see anything in the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to be in that last state. Right before. I stumbled comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. Let's see where you stumbled. <laughs> Let's see where it is that you stumbled. And I knocked my head. Mm -hmm. So when you knocked your head, what happened next? Where did you go? It's 
follow the stream. Follow it and see. Go to the light. Mm-hmm. And as you get to the light, is there anyone that meets you there? My husband. Mm-hmm. What does he tell you? He asks me. He kiss me. Mm-hmm. He is happy that I'm there with him. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to see what happens next. Where do you go after that? What happens next in that light? We'll have a break and then we can decide to go back. Mm -hmm. So let's go now to that time when you are deciding. See yourself now in the planning phases of that next important life. Tell me where you are. Spaceship comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. I don't know where this comes from. Mm -hmm. Just a bird. All right. So feel yourself immersed in this new place and time. And as you feel the spaceship, begin to see it in your imagination. What does the spaceship look like? What shape comes to mind? This is this round. Mm -hmm. Are you inside or outside of the spaceship? Big. In the moment, I see it from the outside. Mm -hmm. It's a huge. It's nearly like a city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now that you've seen the outside, allow yourself to go on the inside. Be there now. Look around you. What do you see? Trust your first impression. There are people around, but mm -hmm. all different. And I can see out of the window there into the universe. Mm -hmm. And there's like a conference for the people to gather and decide who is going and where and what's the mission mm -hmm. this time. So take a look at yourself, the observer. What do you look like in that spaceship? Tall, blonde, blue eyes. I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. I have a white glow to my skin. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your hands. What do your hands look like? Four fingers and a thumb, but mm. small and long and white and shiny. Mm. Very nice. 
and I have a bigger head. A bigger head. Take a look at your eyes and tell me what your eyes look like. They are blue. Mm -hmm. What shape are they in? Are they human eyes or something else? Kind of human. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's find out about this gathering, this conference. What happens at this conference? Be there now. They're sitting all on a round table and discussing how to do it and how to send the people down mm -hmm. to incarnate or to um, walk in sometimes mm -hmm. or to choose a body and an area where the people are needed. Mm -hmm. How many do you see at this conference? Hmm. Maybe I can count them. Oh, over 20. Mm -hmm. And are you at the conference or are you just observing it? I have a seat there. Okay. So let's find out what it is that you're saying. I'd like for you to go ahead and speak for them. And as they return in dialogue, they'll be speaking through the speakers. So allow yourself now to <coughs> dialogue with those at the table. What is being said? Connect with them mentally. We need to send them back to the past. I think that's in the future. Mm -hmm. And we need to... Mm. They need to send humans back? Yeah, to incarnate mm -hmm. on Earth, mm -hmm. to... From the outside you can't influence. Mm -hmm. It's like time... Time not exists like that. Mm -hmm. So... How do they do it? Um, I'd like for you to follow one of those that they've decided on. What do you see? Look around you. What you? Look around you. What's there? I think mm, many needed to go, mm -hmm. not only me. And they need some people with experience mm -hmm. on Earth. What kind of experience do you bring to Earth? What we bring? Mm -hmm. What do you bring? Consciousness. Consciousness. Very good. And light. Now, before you return to Earth, do you select those that will be living the lifetime with you on Earth? Or the challenges? Yeah, we get a, a glimpse mm -hmm. of what is needed. Yeah. But in this state, you can't imagine mm -hmm. what it is to be there on Earth. Mm -hmm. And you think it's not so hard. 
But then you forget. So, has there been any preparation for this soul to incarnate again on Earth? Yeah. Tell me about that. We all have their own preparation done in all the other lives they have simultaneously. Mm -hmm. We are like a little specialist. Mm -hmm. So, so what do you specialize in? What does the soul specialize in? Ascension. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. How is it that this soul, this entity, that will be living on Earth, will be using this specialty to help? What abilities does she bring? She comes from a higher dimension already. Mm -hmm. And needed something with the ascension process and the Merkaba work mm -hmm. and the awakening of the hearts. Is she taking anyone with her to assist? Mm. Let's find out. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, we will be at that planning stage where this soul has been choosing those beings that will be in this lifetime with her and what she brings. Taking a deep breath in now. Three. Going to the planning phases. Two. Almost there now. And one. See it now. Allow the room to get it's, it's about uh, assisting for the ascension of the earth. Mm -hmm. To get the Merkaba working and remind that we have our space to create mm -hmm. in our hearts. How do we create from and that space in your heart? In this tiny space, mm -hmm. there is all the whole universe is in the heart. Mm -hmm. All is in there, and if we go in there, we can be everywhere, mm -hmm. create everything. This is like the zero point. Mm -hmm. So what is it that this soul is going to be creating on Earth with the Ascension? She anchors the consciousness and light mm -hmm. onto the Earth. Is that her, her mission? Yes. Mm -hmm. And will she be taking any particular tools There is nothing needed, only the heart. Mm -hmm. uh, everything else is a permission slip. Mm -hmm. So she's been doing some healing work with her hands. How can she do more to this to fulfill this purpose, to anchor this consciousness to Earth? How can she use that ability? Hmm. 
like before the it's not for business mm -hmm. it's for healing and helping and she could make money out of it but it's not important mm -hmm. it's more what she touches mm -hmm. get gets healed or a different vibration and so she just needs to do that she doesn't need to think about it mm. Mm -hmm. Will she be doing anything different? She's been thinking of other things, for example, hypnosis, or a center of healers. Yeah, this hypnosis was really triggering her to... She, she understood that that's a tool to get the people on on this place mm -hmm. where they can open up and heal and it's more conscious for the people because they answer their own questions and she can do that. Mm -hmm. What's the best message, method that she should be doing? Ah, there is not really a method. Mm, my, the people, they come, you need to be able to get them on the right frequency mm -hmm. to open up and let their ego be side. Mm -hmm. There are many ways to do that. So will she be guided to ways in which she can help other people? Yeah, mm -hmm. like always. Like always. Guided. Who is guiding her now? Mm, the higher self. Mm -hmm. Does she have any spirit guides with her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she know these guides? Yes. Yeah, some... She has a, a, a bear, a brown mm -hmm. bear. A brown bear. Mm -hmm. And this bear appeared already many years to her and is always there. Mm -hmm. Who is the other one? Uh, and angels, Michael. Mm -hmm. Do do these angels work with her? Yes. Mm -hmm. So when she is working with her healing hands, are her guides there assisting? If she asks. Mm -hmm. She can do it also alone. She does it by herself. Good. Yeah. But she can help, can get the help. Also, very good. Now, she wants to know about this bright light center that she's thinking about. Why has she had this in her mind so long? To get the bright light down here on Earth. Mm -hmm. But I think it's not a center like a place. Mm -hmm. What is it for her? It's like your heart is the center, and if you shine, mm -hmm. you carry your little center around and be the center wherever you are. And like a beacon of light. She could open up something to together other healers to get more lights working together to make a bigger light. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why she grew up in that particular part of the world? Yes. Yes. What was the purpose of the soul to be there? 
Ja. Auf der Vietnam mhm. in Dying as a American Soldier. Mhm. See, she thought it might be a good idea to choose a peaceful country like Germany after the war. Mm -hmm. She knew that the next few years no war will come from Germany, but from the Americans. Mm -hmm. They are in war all the time. Mm -hmm. And so she, she decided to go to Europe. Europe. What was it in Europe that needed her light? Why was she sent there? It's old and have long history. Mm -hmm. And she was there before. She was. Yes. Mm -hmm. In what lifetime was that? <sighs> Go ahead and show her a picture now. I'm going to put my hand over her third eye and you could show her. Can we have a bathroom break? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to touch your shoulder and when you I do. Go ahead and open your eyes and when you come back you'll go even deeper to that place that will indicate why you were in your eyes open. Oh, oh, oh. How do you feel? Good. Good. Ready to take a break? Taking you back now. So why are you your soul decided to go to Europe. Hmm. Zero in on it. She has experience on many continents. Mm -hmm. She was a Native American and Egypt. Mm -hmm. And she was in Europe, in England. She is like... Uh, the troop that always wants to have some more fun. Mm -hmm. And knows that excitement to have so many different experiences and she is like the her eyes are like a window for the source mm -hmm. all what she sees goes back to source mm -hmm. now as she was shown in the mirror meditation that lifetime of a soldier in Vietnam and she heard, I sold my soul. Can you explain to me what that meant? Yeah, she once wanted to have the experience of being totally lost mm -hmm. in war. In the beginning, she believed in the rightness of the war and how, how we uh, how the Americans came to save Vietnam or to blah blah, mm -hmm. and then she saw that's just not true. Mm -hmm. She saw that innocent people get killed and she couldn't get out there anymore. She sold her soul. Mm -hmm. So how is that lifetime affecting this one? 
she left and decided to go to Germany. Mm -hmm. There was no problem for her as a woman to be in war. Mm -hmm. There she and still in East Germany was pure. There was nature and you needed to help each other. Mm -hmm. You couldn't buy the things in the shop, so you needed to be uh, different ways to even uh, get your normal life together. Mm -hmm. So it was a good school for her. And as woman, pretty safe. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to be in so bad war areas anymore. She saw so many wars. Mm -hmm. And that's all what's in her left side store. Ah. Does she need to store all of that on her left side? I think not anymore, mm -hmm. but she needed to see it to get it back to the source. Mm -hmm. So is she ready to release that now? Yes, please. All right. So let's begin releasing that left side. I'd like for you to go ahead and connect with that soldier. and allow all of those emotions that she's been holding of war to begin to release from the cells. And I'm going to put my hand over your heart, that center, and begin to release all of that tension, all of those emotions, all of that helplessness not being able to make any changes. Begin to release and let go. Forgiving yourself for having participated in something, but knowing that it was for the experience of Source. You sold your soul, but you didn't lose your soul. It's now time to heal it. Release it all and tell me when I have it all. Allow it to flow. Yes. Let's release that and give it back to the universe for healing and now to replace all of that in the left side. What would we like to fill that with? Love. Feel my hand bringing in that energy of love into your heart. And as you that heart beats, feel that love flowing through every cell of your body. Filling it and making the changes. And I'm going to touch your forehead and seal that love in. Now take a look, look at that left side and see how it looks now. Better. Very good. So now that we have released all of that in the past, let's take a look and see what caused her hair to begin to turn white so early. It shows her wisdom. Mm -hmm. She is an old soul. She's an old soul and she was using the hair to indicate the wisdom within. 
No, yes. she had a hard mm -hmm. times between and that made it even worse, mm -hmm. but it's nothing to worry about. She will decide one day to leave it white. Mm -hmm. And when she leaves it white, will that change her perception of herself? No, that's all outside. Out, all outside, very good. Consciousness is different. Mm -hmm. and... mm. So what's going on with her eyesight? Ever since she was very young, she needed to wear glasses. What's happening with her eyes? Yeah, she didn't want to see. Mm -hmm. Not so much. Hmm. What about now? Yeah, she wants to see actually mm -hmm. clearer mm -hmm. and get clear voyant. So let's take a look at her eyes and see what's keeping her eyes from seeing. What is there that was placed in her eyes so she wouldn't see? It's like a filter. Mm -hmm. What is this filter doing for her? Take a look and see what she uses that filter for. Hmm. I think it's just because she didn't want to see mm -hmm. before in her childhood. Mm -hmm. So does she need that filter anymore? No. No. Take a look at the filter and see what it's made out of. It looks like a gray a fly screen, mm -hmm. something like that. All right. So what can we use today to begin to dissolve that gray fly screen? Light. Light. What color? Green and violet. All right. So begin now with your assistance to begin to shine that green and violet light into her eyes. And tell her what's happening. It's dissolving. Very good. What kind of changes should she anticipate? Again? What kind of changes will she be able to see? The important things are more clear. Mm -hmm. Very good. Even with closed eyes. All right. <laughs> so will she be using her third eye more? Sure. Mm -hmm. What is going on with her teeth and her gums? Hmm. She told me they began to give her problems after a relationship issue. Yeah, she had nothing to hold on to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about now? She let let the, the teeth fix. Mm -hmm. It's done. It's done. Yeah. And she is also working on the relationship issues mm -hmm. and understood that unconditional love is the only way. Mm -hmm. 
even if it's unrequired, unrequired, mm -hmm. yeah, not, not come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She has her daughter. What is their role together? What does she need to know? And why did she call her the sun? Why did she call her? The sun. Ah. What's the connection? Hmm. Maybe we are from the sun, the central sun. Well, let's find out. I'm going to count from ten down to one. With each number that I count, allow yourself to go deeper and deeper within to find the origin of your connection. Where are you? I see spaceships coming in and out of the sun. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Well, a sun. I'm not sure if it's the sun, mm -hmm. the central sun. As the observer, do you have a physical body? No. Mm -hmm. Describe what you are. Energy. So as this energy flows, let's find out the connection of these two souls. Who are they together? Hmm. I think she was on the spaceship too, where was decided where, when to go. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to go to that time and space when it was decided to come in as a family. See it now. <laughs> what do you see? We are giggling around and just laughing and thinking, oh, that's easy, planet Earth, and we will do it. We have so many missions because on the other side it's all clear and conscious. Mm -hmm. What is the mission that both of these souls decided on? To help Earth, mm -hmm. to raise the vibration and help with ascension. Would these souls come in with any special abilities? Let's find out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about them. Most, most things are got lost in the life for a while, but after few years, the things came back for her, and it was much more easy for her daughter. Mm -hmm. There was no so much destruction, and she got more uh, conscious help from her mother so she didn't got told it's only a dream if she saw something mm -hmm. it's much easier for Johanna mm -hmm. and Katrina had 
over the last 30 years many things that came back to her like the yoga teachings from India and the shaman teachings from the natives and the healing work and the herbs mm -hmm. and the channeling so where is she going with this channeling? Will she be able to do more of that? Yeah, she does it all the time. Mm -hmm. What about the automatic writing? Is that something that she should focus on? She is lazy, mm -hmm. but she could do it. Mm -hmm. Maybe if she gets to start, she don't even know consciously what's to write about. Mm -hmm. It's all about the life and the ascension and to wake up from the sleep. So how can she wake up from her own sleep, her psychic abilities? How can she use them more? Ask and it's given. Mm. If you need them, you will use them. Okay, good. If it's not needed, for what? Well, she wanted some guidance on a book. Yeah. She was given a title. And why has it been put on hold? Is this something that she did herself? Yeah, maybe she needed to be here first to get a kick in the butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the purpose of writing this book? She doesn't even know what it's about. It will reach some people. Mm -hmm. And her daughter writes books too. She is into writing. So. so does she need to just begin writing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who can assist her with this task? Is there a guide that we can use to help her with her writing? As a German, we will suggest Goethe. Mm -hmm. Is he a spirit guide? Or is he a physical guide? No, he was a writer. He was, okay. Yeah. So he is in spirit form. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Oh, okay. Very good. So I'd like to ask on her behalf if he could step forward and assist her with writing of this book. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now we have another question about something that happened to her when she was with her friend. And there was a sentence that was given to her, awakening the God in you, as her friend looked like a lion face. What was that experience? This was to remind her where she comes from, mm -hmm. that she is not from Earth, and she knows that. Mm -hmm. She was homesick already many years before, and, and understood that she came here to get this mission done. And she didn't know what this mission exactly was, but mm -hmm. she know I have to do it. I hold here the light and the energy up, even if I just do my normal stuff every day. Mm -hmm. Does she understand her mission now? More and more, mm -hmm. and it's unfolding. Yes, it will be revealed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going to Sedona, was that part of the revelation of her mission? Yes. Mm -hmm. Important step. So what? It, why was she guided to go there? To open her heart. Mm -hmm. she, uh, she felt it. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, and to meet Trunvalo. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, what was the the, uh, the the reason why she needed her heart open at this time? You can't ascend with a closed heart, mm-hmm. even if you never heard about ascension, if mm-hmm. you have an open, loving heart, mm-hmm. you will make it. And her heart was not closed, but needed more healing and awakening mm-hmm. and more work they did there in just five days. Very good, very good. Now, and she was there before in Sedona. She was. Is yeah. this when she was Native American? Yes. Okay. So it was like going home. Yes. Okay. There's another place where she has been guided to in her last uh, meditation, and that is to Greece. And that's the last place she thought of going. Why Greece? Yeah. Has she been there before? No, not in this lifetime. Okay. Yes, in another, maybe, yes. Let's take a look back and see. Would you take her to that life? Mykonos. Mm-hmm. Mykonos. Mykonos. Comes to my mind. Mm-hmm. What does she need to do there? Is there something that she needs to anchor there? Yes. What does she need to do in Mykonos? Just be there, Mm -hmm. and she will be guided where to go exactly. Is there a time frame in which she should go? Does it matter? February comes up. Mm -hmm. Very good. Should she be going alone or taking someone with her? Hmm. Alone? Mm-hmm. But she could take a friend or something if she wants to be in companionship. But Very good. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Mm-hmm. She can go alone too. Good. In another meditation, she saw herself in the Mayas, the Step Pyramid, and there was. A sentence, your presence at the court of the sun worshippers is expected. Again with the sun. Yeah. It's all about the sun. Mm-hmm. What did she need to know about that? Was she being called back? It's her source. Mm -hmm. Is the sun female or male? Does it have a gender? It's both, Mm -hmm. but the energy from the sun is more female. Mm -hmm. It gives warmth and is fertile. Mm -hmm. So, does life come from the sun? Yes. Mm-hmm. Without sun, we couldn't live on earth. Mm-hmm. And I'm curious about her RH negative blood. Why is it that she has a different blood type than most? This is an old origin. Mm-hmm. 
Where does it come from? From the Pleiades. Mm -hmm. And you can't mix it with other bloods, mm -hmm. so it stays clean. Mm -hmm. But she can give her blood to everybody. Okay. And share her wisdom or life force in the blood. So this Rh negative blood mm, is old, and you can't dissolve. Um, can't them mixing them up like genetics? Mm -hmm. They make many funny things here to mix humans hundred thousand years ago mm -hmm. and that's only possible if you are positive mm -hmm. so has she been kept from that her bloodline all that mixing yeah mm -hmm. she kept she keeps this energy in her And also the father of her daughter was negative, and her daughter is negative mm -hmm. too. So they all came from the Pleiades? The origin of the blood is there. Okay. But not necessary. You need to be before there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anything else you need to know about that? Mm. No. No. No things. What about her smoking of cannabis? Is she using that as a cover? Yes, mm -hmm. it's easier to be undercover and do your work here than to shine like uh, a big torch. Mm -hmm. Then you get also the dark side getting at you. Mm -hmm. So what would you suggest? Is she supposed to shine like a bright light? She can shine, and she knows also to protect herself mm -hmm. now. And this cannabis helps, helped her to calm down and get comfortable in this world, in this illusion, reality. Mm -hmm. She made her own reality, peace, love and harmony, like the flower power. Mm -hmm. Generations and also the use of magic mushrooms mm -hmm. opened her up. Should she be doing anything in the future to open up any more? She can, mm -hmm. but not necessary. Not necessary. Well, I have a question as to why you brought her from so far away to this session. What did she need to know or experience from this? She needed to be here. Mm -hmm. She knew, as she saw you the first time in YouTube, this is something special to mm -hmm. heal the body and mind and understand maybe a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But actually, she figured out a lot of that already. Mm -hmm. She's been guided, hasn't she? Mm. Mm -hmm. So, looking at her body now, I know that she had a lot of um, past memories in her left side, that she had her eyes that she didn't see, but she has some tightness in her shoulders and her neck. What is going on with that? Hmm. 
What's causing that? The weight she carries. Mm -hmm. Whose weight is she carrying? The whole universe. Mm -hmm. Does she need to carry the weight or does she need to shine her light? She should shine her light. Mm -hmm. Is she ready now to release all of this weight from her shoulders? No. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to tell me what this weight looks like on her shoulders. What does it look like? Do you know these water keepers? Mm -hmm. They have this wooden heavy thing mm -hmm. on the back and mm -hmm. on left and right, a big bucket, mm -hmm. and carry the stuff around. So I'd like for you to go ahead and lift that very, very heavy wood from her back. She doesn't need to carry the world any longer. And as that happens, what is happening with her shoulders? It's getting lighter. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to ask her guard, guide Archangel Michael to release that from her completely. She doesn't need to hold the entire world and universe on her back. And now that she's removed that weight, let's light up the torch like they do in the Olympics. See that light begin to shine as she lights up her energy and sends it out into the entire universe. This is what she came here to do, to shine her light. And as her light shines, she affects every single one. Very good. Is there anything that you would like to tell her now? Or are we complete? Many things will change the next time, mm -hmm. the next months and years. But you had this dream from a big wave coming over you and you were like a cork plopping up and nothing happened to you. You will be a, like a a safe haven mm -hmm. for many souls. They heal already if they get your, your advice and it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It will be wonderful. Very good. The heaviness will lift. This rea reality illusion will change. Very good. Anything else? Heads up. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Welcome back. Hmm. How does your body feel? Warm. Warm. You were cold and then you're warm now. Yeah, hot now. Yeah, hot. Hmm. All that energy. Where are the stones? Oh, they're too heavy for me to bring. <laughs> oh, why you don't tell me that I bring my own? So this is just. <laughs> yeah, the stones are. You did great. You did great. Oh, and. We didn't make the body scan, but I... That's I, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't feel that you needed it. No, I, t I did it on my own. Mm -hmm. I kicked everything out. Yeah.
was not on, on permission there. I, I do. I'm guided <laughs> myself, and that wasn't. Mm. I didn't feel it. No, nothing. I, I, I didn't feel it. Yeah, I did it uh, a few sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. One of your sessions yeah. there, I just did it yeah. with the floor there. Yeah, mm. I go with my guidance too. Yeah. So we did a lot of work today. Mm. Different things. Mm. How do you feel about it? I notice actually. Mm -hmm. You feel at peace. Yeah. You look like it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did a lot of work on you and your family. Mm. Does it make sense? They needed the mostly. I mm -hmm. worked already many years yeah. to heal that stuff. Mm -hmm. All this family. Yeah. And well, how does your body feel besides hot? Good. It feels good. Relaxed. Yeah. Mm. And you'll you'll know that you are very connected anyway. Mm. So a lot of this is just your confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And that happens with, with advanced souls like yourself, that they just say, well, I, I knew all of this, but I just needed to hear it, mm -hmm. and I needed to feel it. How did it feel when your higher self came through? Natural? Yeah. Yeah? No. Yeah. Because it's you. Totally natural. Mm -hmm. You've been hearing this voice all your life, mm -hmm. but knowing how to ex express it, and this is what I asked about the channeling. You are channeling already. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is this is the same thing. It's not anything that feels unnatural. No. Feels no. good. So is this something that you feel that you should share, or is it too personal? There was nothing really personal in. Well, anything oh. about family. Yeah. I take okay. everything about family out. The family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even they. <laughs> no, but that's. Yeah. Mm -mm. Thank you.